So we want to go to the game room now. Oh. What was that? Where did our axe go? You might have gotten lost inside of this. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, okay, so this is just the alternate ex entrance to the game room. Oh, actually, we don't want to go to the game room. We want to go to the main... Like... Room thing? Actually, I forget where we're going. Shit. Oh, it's the place with the piano. With the stairs leading up. That's where it was. Oh, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's the moon. The moon is out there. Okay, so the main room should be down here to the left, I believe. Yeah. Cool. And now there's a creepy hidden passageway. Oh, it's just a bathroom. No big deal. Oh. Jump, jump scare. Even the door, I am so on edge right now for like no reason. Even the door shutting kind of got me a little bit. <laughs> All right, the boogeyman. The books are getting creepier and creepier. Okay, Matryoshka, no more. So we have seven out of 13 Matryoshkas. The search continues. So there must be... So the key to the next thing is in here. So there must be something else in here besides just the Matryoshka. Oh, this looks like the power breaker. Or it opens an attic. That... Either one. Alright, we want to grab our axe before we continue forward. Whew. I smell a jump scare as well. <clears throat> oh, it's the necklace. Cool. Makes total sense. Cool. Nice, so three out of five. <laughs> yeah. Make what the hell was that? Sometimes the music really confuses me. I bet there's another dollar. Wow. Oh, Jesus. This passageway w went from downstairs up into my room. That's creepy. All right, we're going to try 666. Six. six, six. six. Let's grab our. Oh, well, this is actually our flamethrower, but. Now, the real question is. Oh, dang, it went out. I wonder if we can put. I wonder if we can relight this in the fire. Doesn't look like we can. So, once we've used it, it looks like those become unusable.
Ooh, the bathtub is leaking now. Okay. We've found three of five or three of six or whatever, however many there are. But there's not a whole lot more places to go, though. This is just like this just looks like just a storage area something like that on top of the place. We've unlocked every door so far it looks like. And we have 3 left. Yeah, 1 2 Oh no, we only have 2 left. Nice. Okay. curious what's also kind of weird is this is like shining like with daylight but it's stormy and raining outside and dark like night which is a bit strange All right, so I think we're gonna just try going outside again and maybe going in to the bottom floor. Let's see what Chloe said last. What's happening to me? Okay, so this is still a tip for the kitchen doll. We actually should also probably go upstairs and grab a hatchet from a lock for a locked door in case we encounter another one. Like that one. I actually don't remember where that one goes. Let's try going upstairs and grabbing a hatchet real quick and trying to unlock that door. Because I think that may be the only door we haven't been through yet. The circuit breaker behind the inv the wall cubby that opens an attic. Oh. It was just sounds that made me feel like we're getting close to where we need to be. Wait. So our room is right here, yeah. Oh, we also need to find the code to this somehow. Four numbers. Oh, there's another axe in here that we dropped. Oh, dang, it looks like... Oh, no, here's the attic, okay. Yeah, four numbers to the code in the safe. Hmm, I wonder if we can turn this off. We cannot turn this off. So if I had to guess, I would say that it's probably one of the magical stones in this safe. And there's probably one behind this door that we haven't been through yet. So we're going to go downstairs and try and exit through that door. The whole game is one big jump scare. Yeah, pretty much. I, I There isn't like a huge amount of depth to it. Um, which is to be expected from an indie dev company, obviously. I would say for an indie company, the game is pretty 
pretty good. There's a de there's a decent amount of backstory. Oh, we might, we might we might not be able to open this one with the axe actually. And the story actually makes sense. The jump scares are pretty good. They build tension with the sound well. Uh, I'm not sure about game length. I think I got the game for about $15, so... I don't really know how long it is yet, obviously. But we're two hours in already, so I would guess it's probably four hours, something like that. I vote you play Oxygen Not Included. We might at some point. We'll see. We'll see how the development continues with that game. I think it's still in early access, isn't it? Dang, yes, agreed. <laughs> We might, we have to play through the rest of this, the Dishonored series, as well as, um, or the new Dishonored game that just came out, I should say. Okay, we just dropped our axe by accident. I don't know where it is. As well as want to finish The Witcher, and there's quite a few other games coming out, so. Probably no oxygen not included anytime soon, but I won't say no. How about that? Have you ever played Oxygen Not Included, Jasper? Yeah, it's early access. So I'll, I'll definitely probably wait until it um, has a... Huh. Weird. Full release until playing it. They'll probably add some sort of story in and some sort of goal to complete. So we got a weird sound when we went near this bedroom, so we're going to go in here again. The two things we have left to find, one is a ring, the engagement ring, which I actually think is probably on, oh, you know what, it could be on the... You could be in that bathtub, maybe, on the, like, finger of one of the bones that are in there. Shit, that would really suck if it was our fiance. <laughs> if our, not fiance, our husband was the one in that, in that bathroom. In the bloody bathtub. The one whose bones we've been throwing around. His, this Hive Swap game on my Steam front page looks like your cup of tea. Hive Swap? Interesting. I'll check it out at some point. Hmm. Dang, I wish I had more light. I can tell it. Could try and see if this is a male or a female skull. The humerus looks really small, like a child. But also, if it's accurate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is probably not, that's what I was saying, like the humerus is like half the size of an adult's, but. Oh, damn, we can't light it on that? We shouldn't be able to get in the kitchen again, because it was blocked. Also, we don't have an axe to cut the kitchen open with. Okay, I know- okay. I know there's something in here. One, it's filled with blood, and also there's a tip on this picture. For the ring. We need to find the ring somewhere. But I also feel that the ring is going to be really small and hard to find. And there's also a bathtub filled with blood and bones, which seems a bit suspicious. But I don't really know what to do. 
what to do with the bathtub filled with blood and bones. You think you could like either turn this on or drain it or something? But it doesn't look like we can interact with anything. Jazz, we're telling more about Hive Swap. I'd love to hear about it. What kind of game is it? There's flies around it as well, which is, I mean, obviously pretty. Makes sense if there's a bunch of rotting meat and stuff in it, but. What's also kind of weird is there's two toilets here. That doesn't seem like it should be a thing. <laughs> the tips, the pictures are usually near. Life swap. A hand-drawn tribute to hilarious 90s adventures with none of the accompanying frustration. Plays Joey Claire, a puzzle-solving teen snatched out of her time, 1994, and plays Earth. And stranded on a hostile alien planet on the brink of rebellion. September 14th. It literally came out today. Interesting. I've never heard of that. I normally am, I hear about most games. I mean, this is like a urinal. And this is like a regular toilet. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I'll definitely look at it. Uh, we may not have time to play it with all the other games coming out soon, but I'll check it out. It sounds kind of cool. Oh, this is frustrating. Ooh, maybe. Did this do something? Wait, we are... Oh, hell yeah! 4862. You know, we'll throw a Witcher one in there too. 4862. Okay, so this is the passcode to the thing in our room. That took me way too long. But this is also the Steam Element Gemstone or whatever, so that really makes sense. 4862. Cool. Wait, we passed it. Nice. That was actually a pretty cool puzzle. I enjoyed that one. 4862. Alright, here's our room. We ran all the way to hell past it. Okay. Four. Eight, six, two. Uh. Very cool. So that's our wedding ring. So, it, which means we need one more. Oh, air. Whatever. Sounds promising. The game does? <laughs> Hurry, I can hear it. There's something in the basement. Oh, okay, so the one place we haven't been is the basement. I kind of forget how to get to the basement, but... I imagine we can figure it out. Maybe through that door that we haven't opened? Or maybe we have gone through that door and I just don't remember that exact one. Cool, cool. Very magical.
<laughs> what sounds promising? Reza, the game? This ear-pleasing sounds, which are not at all scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Not at all scary. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... Maybe... Trying to think of other doors that we haven't been through. Let's try maybe going back to these gated doors across the way. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the handles off these. That way they'll always be unlocked. I don't know if that's actually necessary or not because they are unlocked, but seems like it could be a thing. I think we've gone through this door already. Oh yeah, this is just the other the door through to the other side. All right, this is the original room, obviously. So maybe the door to the basement is this one right here. Yeah. Hopefully. Oops. Let's bring this with us. I always forget about the oh-so-wonderful theater mode. <laughs> yes, theater mode is oh-so-wonderful. I assume you're talking about Twitch theater mode. Wait, I feel like we've been here before, but it's so dark I can't see anything. Yeah, this is the statue area. which we cannot get into, so we have to go back. Whew. I'm navigating blindly here. Oh, 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 we were heading in the right direction. There we go, okay. So the basement is going to be on the first floor, obviously, because it has to go all the way down. It's so maybe at the very end of this hallway? Wait, where the hell did our axe go? I think we dropped it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We dropped it when opening this door a second ago. Oh, okay. Yep, this is it. Found it. I think. I know, we've been here. Oh, shit. This is like the Haunted Mansion. The pictures got really messed up. Ugh. Their faces, like, rotted away. And the baby's throat is slit. Holy shit. Gosh. Maybe this is like the last gemstone. Oh, this is this person is wearing the necklace that is our necklace. Hmm. All right. It's eerily si okay. There we go. Got some rain. Okay, so maybe this door is finally open. 
Still no. Weird. Very odd.